theater, I was, um, I'm the one who's uh, programming, well, I don't program, but I strangle the special guest program. Anyway, Eli can't, be, <laughs> Eli can't be here tonight. He's really sick. Um, and I don't mean hungover sick, like sick sick. He's really sick. So he couldn't come, and I know it's very disappointing, so I'm sorry. So you're going to have to do with me doing the Q&As and intros today. <laughs> I hope it's okay with everybody. But yeah. I am a huge Apple fan, so I'm really excited that we're showing it tonight. So I love it, and I forced all of my friends to watch it, and I actually got into a big fight with some friends of mine about it, <laughs> because I made them watch it, and they got in this big argument with me, and they said that if I liked that movie, that I couldn't possibly be a film lover. <laughs> so we got in this really big argument, and I didn't talk to them for like three months, so. So I wanted Mark from The New Work to come down tonight to uh, yeah. intro the film, since He's pretty much solely responsible for it being a cult classic, but uh, he's doing his duty as a doer tonight. But he did uh, send me some interesting Apple facts to share with you all. all right. um, it was uh, released in England in 1978 under the title Star Rock. So actually, if it was under the original title Star Rock and Star Rock would be perfect. So. Um, it got a small release in the U.S. in 1980, um, and Variety said that if musicals are something of on-screen rarity these days, the apple is enough to encourage death to the entire genre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, as infamously detailed uh, on the net, the or opening day at the former Paramount Theater in Hollywood, which is now the El Capitan, at the first show, soundtrack, al soundtrack albums were given to the audience who by the end of the movie threw them at the screen in anger. <laughs> so then, so they decided the second show would be better to get them on the way out, and no one took them. <laughs> uh, so it received one television broadcast, broad broadcast in 1983 on a Friday edition of the CBS Late Movie, and was one of the first movies to release on home video. Uh, but it didn't even have hand and scan, they just kept the camera straight on. So you missed all of it. Um, so Mark uh, is uh, the one who played it for the first time uh, at, since that 1983 screening. He played it in 2003, so it had been played for 20 years. And he played it at the, at the New Art, um, and the screening was held on Valentine's Day, and it was a house record of 350 people coming into the Apple. Hmm. Um, so they're the ones, Mark's really the one who um, campaigned for it to get, bless you, Released on DVD, um, and so if you haven't, if you don't have the DVD, I highly suggest getting it. It's something for parties. Wonderful, can't beat. You just turn it on in the background, you're good. Um, so I, someone asked me tonight if this is a sing along. I say fuck yeah, it's a sing along. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to sing, I say sing. That's what I say. I'll be back there singing bibs all the way. So, so Please do enjoy the apple, um, and do stay for Stunt Rock. Brian Trenchard Smith, who is the director of Stunt Rock, will be here to do, introduce the film, and he will be doing a Q and A as well. And we'll be doing the raffle. Um, Eli donated some pictures to us, some autographed pictures, um, and we're going to be raffling one of those off uh, right before Stunt Rock. So do stay, and I hope you enjoy the apple. It's so awesome. Have fun. <laughs> yeah.